first of all, we are going to create a, uh, one single cell in entire page. This is our first page that it will become home page. Now from table, we are selecting on the single cell. We are going to expand this. And later on also we can resize it according to our need. Then next is what? We are creating section for the heading. That is name of company and that logo. Here, few options are there. You can see here. For example, when you right click here, go to table properties. Now here, height and width can be defined by user, whatever height width you want. Then cell style is header style or normal style. Then background color if you want in that header, then you can keep it. Then content alignment, whatever we write there, go in vertical and horizontally, we want it in center, middle. So we are taking here table properties. We have two options: table and cells. Cell properties we have set now table. So this is one row and one column table. Border, if you want to increase border in pixels, you can write here cell spacing that is between two cells, how much distance you want to keep. Cell padding is what? Distance between the content inside that cell and cell border. So that you can set here. Then table alignment in our page, if you want to make it center, here it is center. Caption is heading. If you want to give heading to the table, then where we want to show that is above table, below, left of table or right of table. So right now we are selecting none. Click on OK. Now same way, we are going to create for heading part. One row, two columns. Okay, now this is table inside another table. So we have inserted the table inside another table. Now we can drag it. Then we should make sure that the width is not more than the actual width. So here we are going to type plaza. One stop solution. Now here we can format it like so increase font size, click here, make it center, the okay, same way here, this is tagline. So tagline we are keeping smaller, the green is center. Now to give color, select it, font, here font you can see. Text color. For example, Now here, in this section, we want to insert an image. So insert image. Find the image that we want to insert. This image. Now here, alternate text we are not keeping because if we keep here, we have to write something for this image. So, this alternate text now dimension 
vector size is 480 by 360 pixels. So it will be far more larger than this area. So we are going to change that. Make sure this option is selected because it, it will will keep this aspect ratio proper so that actual look of image is not changed. Now we are still centered. Now in next line, you one space. Now insert another table which one row and two columns. Make it same like this. The first one. Now here, we are typing categories. In here, new products. See this actual structure. Here it is like this. So we have created one row, uh, one row and two columns. Now here again we are going to use categories. So for categories, again insert one table. For example, one, two, three, four, four categories I want. And here in products, we are going to insert a table with three rows and three columns for different products. Here we are going to categories. Here the first one is school bag. Second one, water bottle. What is Lunch box and compass box. Since we are using here category, heading category and here name of category, so we are making it smaller than heading category. Now, if we want to make any change, we are supposed to do it right now because we are going to create copies of this page for each and every category so that no, we don't need to design the same page. Since this is website related to school and children are going to visit this, we, we are using more colors here. Now here, We are going to insert form element that is name will be submit button. This user is going to submit this data and name of the field is is order. Field value we are typing like this because 
whatever you write on field value in field value it will be visible on that button to the user like this okay so this is place order now but two more enter i two times enter i have paste to give some space here now again i am going to insert a table well this one or column Here we are going to type links so that user can move back to a particular section when he wants to leave this page. Now this categories are, for example, children in second it is, for example, contact us. Then site map. Now we are keeping here three on the click that contact us and site map. Here also we are going to use links. So what we want to see first of all, for example, click that select this. Then insert link. From here, we are supposed to include an HTML file. For example, uh, here click that form I am going to include that we have created earlier. Please OK. Then in contact us, we are going to add some information. For example, I'm going to type here an HTML field, basic HTML. I'm giving some information so that you can click there. Now we are going to color, digital view. For example, I'm typing name directly, save it, and I'm saving this as contact plus HTML desktop. And from desktop, I'm going to add the is five here. So the contact us select that, then insert link, select here from desktop, and, and the file is contact dot html edit. Okay. Sitemap also we are supposed to create like a hierarchical structure wherein user can get which page lies under which link or which main page. So now we are uh, supposed to give details different details here according to this so this is now we are going to save it so the first page here we are going to give index home page index so that is a general practice that the home page is named as index of the and we are also keeping it same in that of HTML. Now click on browse to see this. Now let's see whether the links are working or not. Feedback. Now this is feedback form. Contact us. User will get this information of to contact the website owner. Now here. The next thing is 60 to 70 percent of this website is ready. Now we are supposed to change only this section. So first of all, we are going to create four copies of this page. That is full page, water bottle, lunch box, and compass box. So
so first first of all we are creating water bottle because we are not creating school bag because by default when someone yes. opens index.html school bag information will be will come out of it so we are taking what the what we are select this and so first of all save it save as water bottle same way lunchbox dot html okay so save as then compass box sir save as compass dot html now this this is index file you can see this title index now when i i open a new file from desktop for example the second one is water bottle there are two files with same id that is title so actually this is index file and here it is as box so i have to make sure that title is also same as this html file so go to tools go to format page title and properties from here take compass box now click now otherwise if we don't change this title then sometimes we will do something wrong in another page so this is index and actual this file is water bottle but title is index so here also we are going to change it and make it water bottle pass box are ready lunch box we are supposed to open now here also we can see index again in this to lunch box this three we have change school have index as title now we are supposed to use here images and its details 